When we uh, started in this, mm. we thought uh, all our learning should be centered over chi around child. Uh, and uh, the mentor, the parent and the curriculum work in sync to help him realize whatever his dream is. Because uh, uh, if you look at uh, child at various stages, he learns very differently. Hence, we looked at the learning environment uh, when we designed the pedagogy or the methodology of the learning. We looked at uh, the learning environments very differently for different stages. So, we divided the entire school learning space into three levels. The first stage is called Ananda and the middle school is Jigyasa and then the, uh, the last phase is called as Sadhana. So, the core purpose of Ananda is to help children get a very joyful experience of learning so that he enjoys learning and he is always connected to wanting to learn more and more. So, you use uh, simple things like a Ganit Mala which helps him visualize a number up to 100. So, the child is able to spot where 99 is. If I ask the child to show 95, he must be able to actually pick and show this is where the 95 stands. There is a caterpillar in my garden. There is a caterpillar in my garden. Its name is Ringy Ringy Bush. In addition to uh, teaching them English and math, uh, we do many things beyond it. Like for example, there's a class which would be working on underwater world, there's another which would be working on a caterpillar. But since the environment is very interesting, I think child doesn't feel the burden of learning and it becomes a very, very joyful experience. We feel music, art, craft and dance need to be connected very closely with the curriculum. And hence I think there is a very beautiful environment which is created. Uh, so children don't learn because they have to compete. So you end up learning because you wish to learn. So, uh, this, I have made a game Thunder Mazes. Uh, and the use of this car, I'd, I made a car which is operated by the arrow keys. So, so in the arrow keys, it's they ask what speed do you want to move? X axis and Y axis. Pay, see, listen, speak and concentrate. In, in this, we ensure that small children are able to deal with their conflicts, uh, understand issues of emotions, anger, learning how to be more perceptive of the other person, more self-disclosure. These are the skills which when honed at an early age will create more complete human beings when they grow up. And, and we do that in a very structured and scientific manner. When someone, someone is angry on me, I, uh, I get scared and irritated and cry. So what should we do? What should we do? Is there something else that we can do other than getting angry? Other than getting angry, we can do is that just stay calm and think why we are, why should we get angry? How we are getting angry? And we are getting for a, angry for a reason or just like that? Crux of the matter is uh, making sure that our children are ready to the face the world, which is uh, uh, ahead of us, or rather ahead of them. Which is the reason why we, we profess and follow something called the 21st century curriculum framework. Where other than the core subjects, we want to develop life and career skills. We want to develop thinking, innovation skills. And the most important is the IT and media skills. So we use, we introduce visual programming uh, from grade three. And uh, this is something, you know, this is a curriculum we've adopted 
This is a programming language that has been developed for the adult learner, uh, University of Berkeley, MIT, these are the kind of places where this research has happened. Moving ahead from the life and career skills, when I look at what are we doing about innovation? I think innovation fundamentally stems from the ability to ask questions in a fearless way and in being able to deal with your failures. We encourage that a lot in the school. When I came in Indus and I learned actually how children should be handled, uh, how should we sens be sensitive towards children. So one is we train our mentors uh, for child psychology, how to take up themes, how to take up language. But other than all this, the major area of training is how to help uh, a child for the social and emotional development. So we also have our social emotional sessions, we have our QCTs there and human labs are there. So all these things actually mold us from a teacher to a mentor. Wow. The sadhana stage is actually the stage of mastery. Mastery in what you like, so I need to first figure out what does he or she like. The Saras was to make a, a square wheel cycle project, then we tried and it was successful. We were trying to think that uh, how should we design the roads and we came up with different different ideas, what should we do. We all made small models of this kind in cardboard sheets and all. The length of the curve is equal to the side of the tire. My effort in sadhana is number one to make sure that 9th and 10th kind of they get into the mood of really working hard in 11th and 12th. From 9th onwards, right, kids are given different uh, levels of questions. Right? You finish this, get to the next. Finish this, get to the next. So people, different people stop at different places. Right? So in that process, there is also mastery. In that process, I'm not. I'm trying to make the time of every kid efficient in the class. Just look at the time that a child spends in the school. He spends close to eight hours in the school. That is one third of a day. child want to go and do we have the competence to guide the child in that direction without creating stereotypes too early that's where the uh, good cusp of Indus World School's intention and CL's competence they come and join very successfully so we in fact we would prepare a student towards competition in a very healthy way so let him go through the coaching let him go through the drills let him go through all of that and then there comes a stage when you expose him there comes a stage where sadhana is very important so we should not belittle the importance of the 10,000 hours of slog that anybody has to put in to become, become a top engineer or a top sportsman. I want to become an architect. When I grow up, I want to be a fashion designer. I would like to be the owner of Levi's. We all say, when I get older, I will be stronger. Parents also are struggling how much to push, how much to kind of hold them back. I, I think it's, it's about the attitude more than anything else. Uh, and I see the, the school working on the attitude rather than just following the factory approach of, of handling kids. It was very nice. I mean, you feel, felt the parent also involved. So it's a very nice way they were involving the parent in the whole, uh, you know, organizing the scores the development of the child, they, they, I believe, encourage teachers to go to the student homes and discuss with parents as to the student's performance. And I have no, absolutely uh, no doubts about the fact that the team is extremely passionate. parents who were career launcher students 14 years ago and their children are here and they go around saying that you know Shivku or Satya or GP taught me 
and we know what comes as the DNA of IWS.